Hello people and welcome back. Today we are preparing for a funeral tomorrow. Uh, the funeral in Fiji is a little bit different. It's a big, big gathering of uh, lots of people and therefore you have to prepare a lot of food. So today we are with the um, kitchen team or the food team um, that's gonna prepare the food for the people that's gonna come for the uh, funeral tomorrow. And uh, right now we are preparing cassava that uh, some of the boys just uh, came back from the farm with a big bag. So here's the boys um, preparing the cassava. Bula! And this is uh, our girl, Bambula, my girl. <laughs> so firstly, we're gonna cook up the uh, cassava so it's ready before we continue with the uh, other um, food. And you can see here, Luke is uh, boiling up a big pot of hot water so we can um, put the uh, cassava in when it's ready. So, other than cassava, we're gonna cook uh, chickens and also um, a cow. They're gonna slaughter a cow later, so I hopefully I can show you guys the process of how they're gonna slaughter it and cook it up. Okay, guys, we're here to peel the cassava and uh, first thing, to cut it down, see the this thing have a stick where the when you plant cassava like this and the cassava produce from the cassava plant and it's produced. We cut this out so this thing can be can we feed the our pork pig our pig and uh, first step with a knife onto the cassava just don't sap it down eh? <laughs> and you open that like open it like this yeah. yeah. You see? Yeah. 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 <laughs> One cassava for you. One cassava for you. Come to Muturi. Sambil lama. Set. And now the cassava are ready to be boiled. Now we're gonna fill up the um, the second pot with some hot water. I don't know what they're gonna cook. They just said they're gonna just start by boiling it up.
So since we are waiting for the cassava to be cooked fully through, um, people are getting haircuts in between. And it's my turn after this. So I'm gonna help Luke huh? cut the chicken up to small pieces. And here you can see this is the chickens. <laughs> this is the best. Uh, the number one butcher in uh, in the village. In the village. Oh. <laughs> Look at that! How smooth it is. Bula. Welcome to Navuti Butcher Shop. One slice, hundred dollar. Bye, I said. <laughs> <laughs> and over on this side, we have the kids and the women preparing the carrots and the potatoes for the chicken stew. Again, it's the village life where. Uh, we help each other out as collective. There's no I in the village life. It's always we. So <laughs> this is a haircut from Urat boy. This is Urat. Uh, 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 uh. uh, uh. <laughs> with the fusion cut, with the razor blade and the razor blade. Yeah, razor blade. And after this, uh, Luke is gonna get uh, his uh, hair down here cut. <laughs> what the? The hair down here. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. Finished my trim. Boy. Me. <coughs> Siru. <coughs> Shiruke, Turuke. <laughs> okay, people, now we're gonna test if the cassava is fully cooked. This is the head chef. What do you say, chef? Good. Good. It's good, good. Sam, what are you doing? I'm going to go to the restaurant. Mm. Okay, it's fully cooked and it's hot. So I think we can take off the pot now and um, get on with our cooking. It must feel good to be the manager. <laughs> okay people according to the uh, head chef Luke the uh, cassava is fully cooked now so we're gonna lift the pot and pour the water out and then we can carry on with our cooking here we go It's 
Shannon. Thank God it's not me. <laughs> Just drop the water. Come on, come on, come on, <laughs> and that's how you do it, island style. Not pretty, but effective. Just shoot inside. <laughs> that's cassava for you. So besides the um, kitchen team. Um, the people that are cooking um, there's also a team down here that uh, are gonna do the um, the lobo as they call it the underground oven and it's gonna be right there and um, I won't focus on that so much um, because uh, I will do a full video about it when my birthday is coming up so in this uh, video I'm gonna concentrate on the cooking team so people because the Fijian funeral there are gonna be a lot of people and people from other villages are gonna come and from other places in from other places in uh, Fiji that's also gonna attend the uh, funeral tomorrow we have to like slaughter cow some cows in order to feed the people that are gonna come and I'm just gonna look out for those two cows here there's one there and there's one here uh, <laughs> I don't like I don't know how they're gonna do this but they're gonna catch the young one the mom is tied up over there and the um And they are trying to get hold of the um, the sun, um, so they can slaughter it. And now it's taking a shit. The mom, I think uh, she's scared. I understand why. But yeah, the sun is um, is hiding behind the mom, and uh, man, I feel bad that. Uh, that uh, that cow is gonna be uh, slaughtered, but uh, I guess it is it is how it is. Like it's just the way it is. I'm gonna follow this guy in front of me who's trying to put a rope on his neck 
I guess this is the island style way of doing it. Unsuccessful attempt. We're gonna try again from the other side, I think. Or no? I don't, I, don't, I don't know what the plan is I don't know what the plan is right now everybody's like go got their own idea so I don't know if we're gonna slaughter it right here or no no we're gonna use the rope we're gonna use the rope or what Okay, another guy has stepped in now. Mange. <laughs> I like how this uh, that guy does it with a smoke on in his uh, mouth. So chilled. <laughs> Unsuccessful again. Holy, 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 holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. I'm scared. To be honest, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, the mom, the mom, the mom. Oh. 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 oh no. I don't like the mom. Holy. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, 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 the mom is not happy. <laughs> That's how you catch a cow island style. <laughs> So they're just gonna put the rope around his neck and tie it to the tree so he can't flee anywhere. Fucking! <laughs> 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 
This cow is crazy. Look, he just untied the rope around his neck. To be honest, I don't know anything about cows and how they react, but uh, I will tell you this I don't make sure I don't get hit up by one. <laughs> That's for sure. We're gonna try and catch the cow again after the unsuccessful attempt. I don't know if I'm gonna go with them because I don't know how the cow will react, man. I'm I'm scared to be honest. I'm not used to this island life. Hey, 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 the man boy. It's the man boy. Get the man boy. Okay, they got the the rope. They have tied the rope against the um, body of the uh, cow now. They got it, they got it. They got the rope around the neck. Okay, people, after the second attempt, we finally caught the cow. <laughs> Let's hope that it doesn't do something crazy. <laughs> I'm on high alert. I don't give a shit. I'm on high alert. High alert. Okay. okay. Minor mistake. I thought it was like a, a boy, but it's a girl. Girl cow. Okay, they're about to kill the um, the cow now. Oh my god. They just killed the cow in a really brutal way which I'm go not gonna show you uh, you people may the cow soul rest in peace man uh, I mean I wasn't expecting something like that but uh whoa that was uh that was brutal <laughs> um but again we have to think about this is the way they do it in the islands this is the way they've always done it so because of that you have to you know show respect to the way they do it even though it doesn't seem um <clears throat> Even though you may not agree on how they do it, but um, you have to respect it and accept it. So now we're gonna cut the cow up into small pieces, and then we're gonna bring it up to the village and then wash it, wash the meat, and then cook it. And then we'll show you how the um, the islanders are gonna cook the meat or the locals so people I'm back after we have butchered the cow and um, the uh, guys th 
the guys that are um, butchering the cow they will bring it up um, with the boat because it's too heavy so they're waiting for the uh, height height uh, but here we have the, a new master chef <laughs> and um, he's cooking up chicken stew it looks delicious Okay, he says it's ready to serve and uh, it's the best chicken stew in Motorik. <laughs> So people, the cow has arrived in pieces. Um, and now the boys will uh, get ready to um, peel the skin off or skin the cow. So after that we're gonna cut it into smaller pieces and then and then cook it. So what they're gonna do now is they're gonna hang it up here and then they will begin to skin the uh, the cow. <laughs> And that's how we do it, village style. Now Chorchez is gonna... Don't do that thing. <laughs> Peel the skin! He's gonna clean the cow. You're gonna take out the skin of the goat. The goat? The cow. <laughs> cow goat. <laughs> the cow goat. <laughs> Oi. And the process, how's the process? Press like this. Do one side and go around. Oh yeah, okay. It's a butcher man. What do you do after you huh? the, after you skin the cow? What do you do with the meat? And we take out the 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 other one. The lemons. The meat. The meat one. Yeah. And the sweet one. And we do it another fancy way. Sweet and double the bone. <laughs> and we do it another fancy way because after grog session, come like this. And eat the uh, sweet, that's like Boom. you drink one cup of the beer. <laughs> you eat like, finish it like this. You serve your grog away. <laughs> We're gonna cut the, this thing and we'll uh, divide it into three kind of taste of food. And uh, the three types of food we're gonna spread this uh, meat is gonna be stew and uh, curry, curry, curry cow, stew cow, cap cow. <laughs> So once the um, butchers have uh, cleaned the meat and have cut it in uh, 
big pieces. Then it's brought over to the women. And their job is to cut it into smaller pieces and then divide it into what they're gonna cook. So we're gonna check this out. Gourmet of a brother. So, beef, stew beef, stew beef, yeah, this stew beef, little bit uh, synopsis. What is this? Put some sauces. Yes, 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 Hey, hey, Kali, Kali. Oil. Copyright boy. Yeah, so, so Salt. Salt boy. Little bit of a 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 This thing is crack out, No, you put some salt there, me. I salt you. One inch and a half. Shit. salt you. We put more salt so it can prevent from the uh, garlic to jump out. Brother Molin, what's going on? What's going on? They were probably not in the village. Uh, what, bro? In the village. Oh, 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 in you, you, you go here, higher, higher, Okay. To cook. Ready 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 to Ready to cook. Ready to
And the time here is um, quarter to seven in the evening and um, we're gonna cook this and uh, all the, um, the small pieces, pieces that uh, the women has uh, uh, cut out for us, uh, we're gonna cook it uh, tomorrow morning. This flower for the stew. Yes. This flower for the stew. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now we have the carrot, the um, the potato, the beef. Now we have flour. I don't know what else you need. Onion. Yes. Onion too. Yes. Lord, my eyes. It's ready to serve. Ready to serve. Thank you. Okay, people, it's time to taste the stew. And we have the cassava here, and the stew is right here. So let's taste, start off by tasting the broth. I'm gonna just take a bite of my cassava. Taste my mouth, taste my mouth. Okay. This is what we call taste the broth. How is it? Thank you. Wow. Too much broth. Cash, cash. It's really good. <laughs> and um, it's really sweet. And um, you can uh, taste the flour also, not too much, but just right amount. So let's taste the um, the beef and see if it's tender. This is good. Worth the wait all day, all evening. And um, it's really, really good. You can see here, the boys are digging in. Same bone. Awesome, awesome guys. You're awesome. Um, that's it for today and um, tomorrow morning we'll continue cooking. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Come to Motoriki to taste the best stew. Best stew in the world. <laughs> you, you taste it like this, it touch your heart. Oh. And groom your elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning and uh, welcome back. Uh, this is the day, the day of the um, the funeral, and today we are preparing to cook again. So we're gonna cook again and um, today we're gonna cook beef soup or as they call it in Fijian, sui. And you can see here we have a lot of um, meat, uh, leftover meat from yesterday.
Bye. Per explain mana nak proses ni? Explain the process ni. So by English tak so? Sui bone, sui first then kuih. So it, as you can see, he's washing. He's washing it and then um, put it onto the uh, other pot um, that is uh, over the fire. What is wrong, Angi? Okay, so now we have the beef soup cooking and uh, we have uh, prepared another dish, the beef curry. This is the new manager of the cooking team today, William. And as you can see here, the cooking team are uh, drinking tea. <laughs> this is yeah, Alan's style. <laughs> <laughs> drinking tea at work. So we're gonna cook up three dishes today. The beef soup, the curry beef and then the chop soup. <laughs> They're mixing in the ingredients soy sauce, garlic. And my eyes are hurting from the smoke. Ew! Some more soy sauce. <coughs> and now some sugar. You know, one thing in Fiji is people love sugar here. Maybe a little bit, a little bit too much <laughs> sugar. Now some vetsin. Vetsin. And then the final ingredient is salt. And this is the chicken curry dish. No, chop suey dish. Sorry. <laughs> now some oil to finish it off. Oh. oh my lord, my eyes is burning from all the smoke. Jesus. <laughs> and over here we have the beef curry. There's the curry and then. <laughs> mustard. Yeah, mustard. Yeah, mustard.
Wait, apa nama tadi aku ikut kita kari tengah? Iya. Wah, habis itu cuma nama tadi kari. Light kari dan dark kari. So this is a new curry, another curry spice. Spice. Oi, the smoke. Eh? So he put in two different curry mix or curry spices i hope this is gonna taste good oh, i know after last night when i um, tasted the stew i know this guy he can cook man gotta give it up maybe he should start his own restaurant you know <laughs> Here are some of the guys that are preparing the um, wood for the fire. So as you can see, there are a lot of people um, that are helping out or that are needed for the uh, kitchens to run smoothly. And uh, man, can't get over the smoke when you stand in there. Then you can really feel it in your eyes and I don't understand how they can stay in there like for hours jesus christ <laughs> and now he's sprinkling in some uh, onions for the curry beef some garlic some garlic in the curry <laughs> to give the curry tasty bro look at my eyes look at my eyes bro jesus i'm all tearing up because of all that smoke but don't worry I will document this until the end. <laughs> so now we have all three dishes in the uh, pot and ready to cook. Oh, it's already cooking. We have the sweet beef uh, soup. And over here we have the beef curry and the top sweet. And uh, how long is gonna be cooked before it's finished? Mm -hmm. Uh, half an hour. <laughs> Look 
looks good looks good so one thing i want to tell you viewers that um me personally i love curry especially if it's chicken curry but uh beef curry is fine too and um many people here in fiji uh loves curry and um it's because we ho have a lot of um uh a big population of uh, uh indian descent i hope i said it right uh the indo fijians so they brought all these uh good spices uh over to fiji and now we uh indigenous people we use it as well and we love it so thank you indo fijians <laughs> so i asked the main chef about how he plans for those many people who's gonna come to the funeral how he knows that um, the food he's cooking is enough to feed them all that are, are attending the uh, funeral and he said uh, yesterday when we start cooking you uh, will see how many villages that comes to ring ring as he called it to pay their respect um, and uh, those uh, people that came yesterday are also going to come today so his um, he knows how many villages and how many people to expect from yesterday so no worries everybody's gonna eat today mm. <laughs> So here yeah, we add a potato for the curry. Added carrot to the uh, curry beef. Um, this is the beef soup or the sui so far. <laughs> looks good, looks good. Yeah. You get all hungry when you see all this uh, delicious food being cooked. And they're adding in flour now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's called flour. Come on, don't leave me a Control. Okay. Five minutes. Hey. 
So the curry is finished now and we're just gonna take it off the uh, fire. Okay, one down, two more to go. So this is for the chop suey. Okay, just gonna fry the bed cheese. So for the chop suey, the veggies, cabbage, then we have uh, carrots and uh, Beans, I'm not sure, we'll see. Beans, beans, and then we're gonna uh, pour the noodles in the end. It's good. It's really, really good. Now the chop suey is done, and the um, beef curry is done. Now it's only the suey left. And you can uh, hear from the church, they are singing and I'm getting ready for the last journey of the one that's gonna get buried. So we just tried the uh, beef soup, the sui, and um, we need a little bit more before it's uh, real, real tender and you can like extract it from the bone. But uh, it's so good. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Bosso. Thank you. Okay, that's that. Ooh, it's hot. Overlight, mm. overlight. Okay. 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 Yeah, just gonna throw in some cabbage. Put it slow, put it slow. You know the sun? And you can see over here, this is where the, uh, the station is gonna be, where I, people are gonna pick up their food after they uh, finish the funeral. Here's the station. <laughs> so people um the chop suey and the um beef curry it's uh it's gonna be for the uh, people that uh, uh attended the funeral the guests 
and now our lunch is gonna be the beef bilan, uh, bilan. soup, beef soup kena buka uh, which is also called soup and you can see now people are coming to get food and now we can see the process see this is the men <laughs> <laughs> and that's how they do it. So that's uh, how they do it in Fijian uh, culture. After the funeral, the people come, there's a food station or food area for them to go and then they can pick up their food and take it to the household they uh, are in or the household where they're gonna eat and they're gonna eat it there and after that they're gonna start drinking grog or yangon or kaba as they call it somewhere in the I mean in the Pacific okay people so everybody that attended the funeral has eaten now we can eat and uh, for us that cooked we gonna have the beef soup or the sweet see this guy is very kodo kodo okay let's taste this it's hot but here Whoa. Real good, real tender. Mm -mm. Real, real good. Worth waiting. Now we're gonna taste the broth. Oh, it's good. Real fatty from all the um, beef, and uh, you can. Um, Taste all the spices, mostly salt, which is good. <laughs> the cameraman is too uh, impatient, so we're gonna um, eat now, and um, after that, we're gonna drink some grog. Minaka. See you later, everybody. Bula people. Uh, it's. Uh, almost 7 p.m. in the evening and after the funeral uh, people in the village and the guests that came to the funeral they come together sit together and have uh, a bowl of grog or kava or yangona um, and you can see here Chosese is gonna give out a bowl of yangona and this is the process. Okay, before this house is full, so right now some are left <coughs> so there's a there's a little bit people here inside this hall so this is uh, our community hall yeah so yeah there's just a little bit people left but many are going back to the the homestay thank you that's all Very strong. She my eyes is red. You see that the quality of the young one is here in Mutri. You wanna taste the young one in Mutri? Come home, baby. On board, baby. On board, baby. On board, baby. You guys. I see. <laughs> okay people, it's my turn. 
Look. Eh, mang it's Ready. <laughs> and people, I'm gonna show you a full video of how they drink Yangona here in Fiji, in the village. So hang in there, I will do it. Until then.